Hi, I'm Laura Heilman. I teach at Walt Morey Middle School. I teach sixth grade and we're a self-contained class. And we're out here today on our Salmon Watch field trip. The Salmon Watch field trip is really valuable for my students because it gets them out of the classroom and it gets them hands-on experience in a natural setting. If they just learn things from a book or watch videos, it's not the same as coming out and actually experiencing this and doing science, actually doing experiments, doing things that mean something. This is what they call us. They call it that. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at it to the top. Not like yeah. look at it to the the Youth Ecology Corps is a partnership between Project Yes at Mount Hood Community College and Metro Regional Government. Um, and it's a conservation crew made up of young adults ages 16 to 22. So every year um, the YEC learns a whole bunch about salmon um, with the World Salmon Council and then leads field trips for um, two or three different sixth grade classes from Walt Maury Middle School. I really enjoy having the Youth Ecology Corps teach our students because they're younger, they're toward the kids' age, they're students themselves, so when I'm prepping them for the field trip, I tell them they're gonna be taught by students that are older. We start the season um, and I say, guess what, you're gonna teach middle school students, and they all kind of freak out because that's scary. I was super nervous. Um, I definitely thought that I was gonna fail somehow. And by the end of it, they're totally cool with it. They are confident. They can interact with kiddos really well. Um, it's a really cool just personal growth thing to see them go from totally afraid of middle school to totally calm and collected and able to teach them really in-depth knowledge about salmon. Through the entirety of, of YAC and then uh, learning about Salmon Watch, I've definitely gotten more comfortable in the leadership role. It's really actually one of the cutest things ever to see the kids just have so much curiosity. And it's really cool you know, that they actually have questions and they want to learn. You know, it's, it's cool. I like coming on field trips because it's a better, it's, to, in my opinion, it's just um, a better way to learn because you're not just sitting in a desk all day and writing things down. You actually get to come out and experience stuff for yourself. Outdoor education is so important because you cannot replace experience. You cannot replace the experience of being in nature with anything else. You cannot replace that experience. Not only is it educational, but it's extremely fun. People like the crew members on YAC and the kids we teach on the Salmon Watch field trips are definitely the future. You know, if they don't care about the world and they don't care about what surrounds us and you know, keeping track and making sure that we're being stewards of this earth, nobody's gonna do it. Youth Ecology Corps has definitely helped me learn like more awareness and empathy for nature. It's all around you, you know, you, you don't even realize like where you live until you get out there and learn about it. All students are gonna become adults and become voters, and I feel like if they experience now what there is to learn in this area and experience the world and touch and feel and be in nature, as adults, they will be much more likely to preserve and protect these spaces. And I think it's really important to be getting young people outside and loving what's around them and knowing what's around them and knowing how to take care of it. Um, and both the YAC and Salmon Watch, I think, do a really fantastic job of connecting kids to nature and just really highlighting how connected everything is. I learned so much about them out here, and the kids come back to class, and they are more interested in science. I originally liked science in the beginning, but only for, but like, I wasn't like into, I wasn't that into it, but this has made me more interested in the, in, in science of water and animals.